Hello guys, Bing here. Um, today we're going to model model these this st structure. Um, to be honest, I don't think we sh um, yeah we can model some quite simple similar shape, and also make it a uh, kind of parametric. Um, but if you really want these details, we probably need uh, to do it in other software such as um, Rhino. <laughs> okay, so let's um, try. Let's try. So, um, so did actually I had a try. So this is the one I did. So it's very very simple, right? So, uh, and I made I made it s sort of parametric. So you can change the. Um, you can change the height. You can change the uh, the. Oops, sorry. Five hundred. Yeah, you can change this uh, curve, uh, and also you can change the size. Uh, this, right? So let's do it. So I'm going to save this one. So that's fine. I'm confident I can do it again. <laughs> Okay, so first let's create a new. Uh, it will be a generic model adaptive. So it's a mass environment. So first place one point uh, and make it adaptive point. Okay, so adapt adaptive point. And then we need to place another point. Use draw on work plan and set work plan. Pick the horizontal work plan. Place onto the point. Okay, so then select this point, drag this up. So now we can have a parameter. So let's create a parameter. So for the height, okay. So height, uh, maybe uh, maybe change it to instance parameter. Instance parameter. So you uh, we can when we place this family in into a project, we can have different height. So now. We can then create a point. Use draw on work plan. Set work plan. Pick the vertical work plan of this point and place on place another point onto this point. And then we can select the new point. Drag this. So now you can see we have this offset. So I'm just going to create a new parameter. Let's call it offset. Okay. Okay. So now we have this point. So this point is controlled by this point. So we change the height. So this will uh, for this point will follow this one, and then we can select these two and create a spline through this point. So, um, but because this these we if we use two points, it will be always a, a straight line. So in this case, we want it to be a little bit curved, right? So curved, maybe uh, yeah, curved. So sorry, wrong one. <laughs> Um, yeah, we can do that. Let's control Z, control Z, control Z. So we can just place another point. Use draw on work plan, set work plan, pick this horizontal work plan again, place it onto the point. So select this new point, drag this up. So we just need to top in a very small uh, distance, for example, one. Now we have this point and control select these two. So we have three point three point okay so one adaptive point and two reference points so create a spline now we have a curved line so then make it reference line okay so this is the path so we're going to create a kind of a sweep but uh, this is will be the path the next uh, step is we need to create a point so use draw on face and place it onto the reference line and then we can just use this. So we can, you can, you can turn this, change this uh, show reference plan to always. And so now you can see this is the work plan. So this is what we are going to place a reference, uh, a profile on. So now reference. So we are going to use a spline and use draw on work plan, set work plan, pick this. So now we can draw the shape. So for this one, um, yeah, it's like a heart shape. So what I'm going to do is, I'll just roughly so draw it. Okay, so 
maybe uh, something like this. So start from here to here, come down to here, one, two, three, go up here and back to here. So this is roughly the shape we need. You know, you can always adjust the shape. So for example, uh, make it make it uh, narrower in this at this point. Uh, and if you want this this to be a little bit um, sharper, so um, you can always add a control to it. Okay, so add a control to here. So and also yeah, so we probably need to use tab, drag this point, and then try. I'm not going to create a closed loop because in mass environment we don't really need to. We can just create, uh, create put uh, these two points very close together. So make sure if we directly drag this point, this will change the scale the whole of this whole thing, right? But if you tab select this point, you can adjust this point. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'll just um, I think I think it's okay. Maybe I'll just make this a little bit uh, yeah something like this. Come down a little bit, go up a little bit. So just try to make it look nicer. <laughs> yeah, something like this. And then uh, I'm going to just tab, select, and just close them to each other. So very close. You can, you can, yeah. I think that's that's enough. So now this is one of the profile, right? So and then what we need to do is we just need to select this together with this point, CC. I'm just going to copy a few of them and then select this, go to here, select this, go to here, select or select the point, pick new host, just to place multiple of them. So now if I select all these five together with this path, so we can create a form. Uh, <laughs> sorry, what's going on here? One, two, three, four, five. Without the path, ah, unable to create. Um, yeah, I think it's probably it's too close. Maybe let me just control Z. Go back. Okay, so go back one. And now let me just uh, maybe drag them away a little bit. Okay, so let's try again. Maybe uh, in to be safe, I'm going to just have two, two profile, create a form. Yeah, good. So control Z. So now let's uh, add more. Okay, so now one, two, three, four, five, together with this path, create a form. Ah, interesting. Anyway, so maybe Revit don't um, doesn't like all these profile to be the same. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll just drag this at one to the top, drag this one to roughly here, and maybe I'll just in reduce uh, reduce the size at top. Okay, so R E, and then just uh, make it very small, and uh, I'm going to do this R E small r e small r e just make it s small 200 so maybe i'll just make this one 200 as well so now let's try again and hopefully we can create a oops wrong one pick the reference plane sorry pick the reference line and also this one create a form Okay, so we could, yes, so um, looks like I was correct. Um, Revit doesn't like having all these profiles exactly the same size. <laughs> anyway, so now type WF, so change it to wireframe. So now we can start to adjust the point which means adjust the location of these pro profiles. So this will change change the shape of um, 
this so you can see this is a very crazy shape right <laughs> so what we can do is we can just make these two closer so this will you'll see when I make these two closer so we will have relatively you know um, what do we call this <laughs> regular shape so um, maybe we let me just let me hang on let me think uh why a frame so basically you just uh, try to move this point and see until we uh maybe maybe just add another one profile here so <laughs> yeah i let let me just increase this size a little bit so it looks better changed yeah not too bad wireframe wf reduce this top to smaller yeah so almost like a curved and maybe just drag this up a little bit drag this one up a little bit and drag this little up a little bit um yeah we need more so let me just uh, change it to shade sd delete this and i'll just add another one so let me just uh, oops select the point and the reference line cc and pick new host place it in the middle roughly so let's do it again so i'll select all so just filter uh we don't need adaptive point we don't need reference but yep yeah, all the reference lines and create a form okay so now we have more control point which means we can try to oh that's not right <laughs> um, yeah it's a bit tricky so maybe i increase this size i.e so uh not not right um yeah, oh yeah that's better okay yeah that's cool yeah um yeah i think that's it so maybe we can reduce the size because from this one you can see it's very skinny um at the bottom so i'm going to reduce a little bit further and same as this one re okay so same this one make it smaller Ooh, maybe this one can come down a little bit yeah, you can always have it, you know, test. See, it uh, looks better here, right? Okay, so, and then this is the shape. So maybe uh, you want to, you know, have a little bit curve underneath here. So you can um, maybe increase the size of this one, RE. So when you, uh, let me, when you do scale RE, just always use wireframe so you can see where your point is the point is and then you can always scale from that point so make sure um, make sure it's uh, the, 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 the reference uh, so, sorry the profile is always relative to the point so center to that point so now let me just drag this down a little bit drag this point down a little bit Let's change it to sh yeah, I think that so we increase that curve a little bit. Okay, so <laughs> it's uh, maybe it's maybe increase this a little bit because it looks like it's it's very fragile here. Oh, uh, maybe this go up a little bit. Oh, there. Yeah. not not perfect of course okay so yeah I think that's it so yeah basically th this is how uh, to model it and then so we can control because we have that height parameter so let me try to change to five meter to come down five five meter right and then if we change the offset um, change it to 100 for example <laughs> yeah so 
change it to two meter two meter Ooh. <laughs> yeah okay and um, and what else okay can we change the size of this uh, yes we can so but uh, let me show you how to do it so what you need to do is so this is a reference oh sorry this is a spline okay so this is a spline here spline you can control the spline the size uh, by adding a dimension to it so let's just do it so first I want to maybe I'll just uh, set work plan onto this this point which is uh, the base work plan um, the base point of this uh, profile so I set work plan now I'll just do a dimension di and move onto this point tab make sure you pick the point instead of you know you can see it's picking uh, an invisible line between these two points so tab pick this point and once again tab pick this point so this will dimension between these two points give you a dimension between these one which is 24.9 so you roughly get an idea of this um, not not, uh, not not the size of this one but the gap use this gap to control the size so for example now if I create a parameter using this dimension so I'll call it um, X for example or instance and okay so now if I go to family types and type in so 24.9 if I type in 30 so you will see this become bigger All right type in 15 it becomes smaller so this will yeah of course this will change the relationship between so yeah we 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 can have some issue with this but it's possible to you can actually make a uh, dimension make parameter for all these and then somehow you can use um, some formula to link them together so they when you change one you change all but for this exercise I'm just uh, going to uh, just control Z control Z and I'm going to just stop here and also um, oh hang maybe I can show you so because 25 uh, means nothing right it's a gap between so let me just link this oh it's already there so how can we roughly to get an idea how big this one is okay so what I'm going to do is I want to roughly so wireframe and then I'll just to roughly to uh, roughly measure the size of this one so for example this I use the width okay so 27 so it's roughly a hundred uh, so 25 27 divided by 25 is a, a roughly 100, 100, a little bit more than 100, but let's say 100, 100 times of that gap. So which means I want, if I want to a 22.5 meter, I just set 25. So this means we can just add add another parameter. So let's say um, width. Okay, so width, length, correct instance, and okay. So and then we can just use. Uh, this x x equals width oh sorry x equals width times uh sorry divide by 100 and then i'll just put in 25 2500 for now so this would give give us 25 apply okay now we have a parameter to control so to, we don't need to control x anymore we control this width so for example i want to uh i want this one to be two meters so i'll just type in two meter so this will control the gap between this this uh, spline and make this roughly two meter. Okay, so um, it looks like we have some issue with this one. So maybe uh, what happens if I delete this? Ah, oh, not that work. Um, yeah, so this can be a little bit tricky. Or what we can do is if I I'll, I'll see if if I move this to you know close to to this and also make these two sides very close to each other I'll see what happens so maybe I'll just drag this down a little bit and scale this one so it match roughly match this one 
So R A from here roughly to here. Ah, uh, too small. Small. Ah, uh, let's control Z. R E here to here. Okay, so it's close. Change to S D. Okay, still not right, but that's fine. We can continue. We can we can do more. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's a little bit tricky. So, but it maybe if what if what if I delete this part? No, doesn't work. Yeah. Okay. How about this? I scale this one to an with a number. So instead of just roughly, I'll just put in 100. Okay, and I'll scale this one to 100 as well. So now they are exactly the same. So as you can see, once they the the size become very similar, and if we place them very close to each other we will have a very relatively um, better outcome <laughs> right maybe I'll change this size so R E uh, 50 okay so I think slightly better maybe maybe just slightly increase this size a little bit so 105 oh that's too big so how about 101 okay i think that's that looks better okay so now let's try again so now if i try to change the width of this to 2.5 so now you will see there will not it will um we won't have the same issue we had before so so when we change this one so re this side uh, this bit stay relative relatively um, very similar <laughs> so let's try again so two meter see it's almost the s exactly the same which which is great right so this size of that um, and I think this is it um, yeah looks like uh, You might need to. So if if you're not happy with the so, the shape, you probably just uh, create a duplicate, uh, create a different family, and then go adjust uh, manually. But this one, I think I'm I'm going to just place it in a. Let's just place it in a project. I'll use a non temp uh, uh, empty empty uh, project. So metric, and I'll have a test. Okay, so load this adaptive family into the project so place on it place on on the change the shade sd okay so this is it it can be placed onto a, a level or a face because it's adaptive adaptive family right so let's place onto a wall so once I'm on the wall okay uh, oh, yeah you can looks like you can use space to rotate it and you can also oh it's going yeah it's interesting anyway <laughs> and then you can adjust the let's just do this one or maybe i'll copy the uh, uh, some of some and maybe rotate some more uh, okay so <laughs> just make a, f a forest <laughs> okay So you can adjust. Uh, oh, hell, it's going everywhere. 
anyway let's ignore that so what you can do is you can um, change the height okay so it's seven meter all right uh, hang on. let's let's just do it sorry but sorry about that it's I'll just place one in the floor plan okay so I'll just delete everything else and see here only have this one and I'll just copy some one two three four five okay go to 3d view okay I'll just use spacebar to oh it's, I think uh, yeah the issue we have is because when we place when we create this uh, we just place it in a random place so for if you manually place this uh, adaptive family that will be fine but if you use spacebar it will rotate uh, using this as the origin point so the the best way to, to avoid that you know jumping around is uh, just to move this here and load this back overwrite so let's try again so oh still uh, anyway so uh, let's just ignore this for for today so we will try to figure this issue out next time so I'm going to just delete this one delete this one just keep these three so yeah you can change the size of this height seven meter right you can change the offset you can change the size and that's that's it so you will see this gap here if you tr if you yeah I think that's uh, that's not much I can do to because you can apparently you can add another line to close that but you will still see see two lines there so yeah better just uh, ignore it <laughs> And yeah, I think that's it. And of course, if you want to see some patterns, you can always use divided surface to create some patterns. And so even you know, you try to you can try to uh, try to use these um, pattern-based family to make it more you know interesting. Uh, of course, it's, this is quite interesting result. Uh, anyway. So, so let's try add more 30 yeah oh it's quite interesting anyway so yeah so once you load this into here and then you will have some yeah <laughs> mess with uh, patterns anyway so um that's it um for today uh, if you have any questions please let me know I think this is the best I can do uh, pro yeah not as beautiful as this one so I believe uh, if you really want to model um, have the results like this you you need to use some other pro uh, program but in Revit we can create some very basic shape uh, use uh, adaptive family and also make it parametric and that's it thank you for watching and i'll see you next time thank you bye